Right. So there's the old garden. There's the far holes. I've tilled that area up to flatten it. That's all planted now. I'll get to that in a moment. And there is the top ephemeral pond. Probably going to go over this again with the tiller as long as it's not full of water. And there's our trees that are planted along the side here. This stump, I intentionally had cut off about mid chest level and inoculated with mushrooms. It's a spruce and the only mushroom that'll go on it is a Phoenix oyster mushroom. And there's the second one, almost done, like the first. It could probably stand to get a little bit more out of the bottom. And the third one is coming together. A lot more work to do on that. Fourth one. Uh, that big pile of dirt, some guys came by in, in a dump truck and said, Hey, would you like some clean topsoil? And I said, Well, can I take a look at it first? And they said, Sure. So that actually came from behind a nearby school that was being turned into something else and was all excavated from where they had pulled out a bunch of really large old trees and that's very nice dirt. Uh, real uh, shocking surprise to be able to get 40 tons of nice topsoil with only roots and some minor rocks in it. Right, moving right along. And there's our overflow for the top. Nice piece of rock in there. Uh, rock collection forming to do the rock work. I'm going to have to get an awful lot of wet rock. Probably about five tons. Here we have some button bushes uh, and some iris. And this is uh, actually in one of those deep holes and this is a bald cypress so it doesn't mind having its feet wet so it'll grow nice and deep even right around these ponds and turn into a, an extremely large tree and here we have a uh, red osier dogwood which also does not mind having its feet terribly wet that also is in a deep hole another cypress <clears throat> bordered it up by putting a nice big garden bed between these guys and here we go with the hazelnuts this is the largest one I was a little bit worried about it but it survived being shocked of transplanting and another hazelnut and another hazelnut but I want to stop here This I have gone through with a heavy tiller six times. I got a whole bunch of rubble, broken cinder block, glass, all kinds of junk came out of this. But this will make a very nice, uh, very nice bed. I really like the way the small tiller, and then I use the small tiller uh, on this. Um, to finish once I had cleared out all of the rubble and, and most of the rocks and so this I'm very very happy about look at that perfect just perfect okay so here we are over here pawpaws now this is an almost full shade patch uh, and this got packed down just like a dam uh, and there's our dam number two and this got and that's all going to get leveled around there but uh, got a whole bunch of wide variety of pawpaws uh, for uh, to ensure genetic diversity for pollination should be a real good place to go looking for pawpaws and pawpaw seed of high genetic variety in about five years <laughs> so this line here I kind of had to use the tiller 
to go around this tree to see where the root line was on this tree where I could get to. So everything between the stump and this line here is uh, roots of this tree that I don't want to get into and, and disturb. This has really been taken down a lot. There was a bunch of this rhizome grass, which is still quite a bit of it in there, but you can see from that mark on the trunk how far down the material uh, was drawn, and it still is bark there, so we're not even we're not even really down to the roots, but a whole bunch more uh, of that rhizome grass roots is going to be in there. So I'm just going to let that grow for a minute, and so that I can find them and pick them out. Yeah. I'm real happy about this. And as you can see, I've generally laid this along a level. These lines all pretty much along a level. And there's our top path. And moving right along. Yeah, some of the stuff that came out of the yard. Those are just the bricks. Not quite sure what's going to go in there yet. And here is the area being cleaned up along this wall. It was all filled with weeds. Uh, all got taken down. Much like uh, over there, I'm going to let this re-sprout so I can find any weeds at the base that are hiding underneath these rocks and uh, get them out. And there's our dry well, and we goose egg or better rocks going in there. There's our outlet right there. And just to give you an idea, this is some of the rubble that we have pulled out. There's a nice one. Rubble, garbage, rubble. Oh, this one is particularly particularly beautiful. Found this piece of foundation uh, in there. I bent the pry bar trying to get it out. And more rubble. And more rubble. Mind you, I've picked out all of the nice rocks. More rubble. And all of this rubble. came out of that area right there and so we're getting close we got a ginkgo in here we got uh, a variegated Japanese willow in here because I noticed when these holes were pulled out that uh, this hole liked to flood because it's getting downspout off the gutter of this garage right here. So we decided the thing to do was to put in something that really likes water and that would be this variegated Japanese willow. And more nuts. I'm not quite sure all what's going to go in those holes yet. Probably uh, some elderberry. And last thing I'd like to talk about on this video is this is the small tiller. It's not does not have a power drive. It runs at a much higher speed than the large one, but doesn't go very deep unless it's very loose and would be destroyed by things that the larger tiller uh, manages to get through. Okay, oh no, I have dust on my lens. So, a few more things to get in here. Um, and last thing here is, this is the big tiller. Um, and it's not even that big, but it's big enough. This one has a power drive, moves fairly slowly, um, doesn't get rocks stuck in it too bad, or even look, so it seems to be able to, this is very good breaking up uh, um, some of this heavy clay we got going here. And 
<sighs> managed to get a fair whack into this pile of sand. This is going to be the next thing because I'm going to have to get a whole bunch of boulders dropped off on this spot, so this sand has to go. But uh, I just wanted to take this video for now. Oh, and here's another new addition. This is a cherry tree um, that had been sitting there for about the last four years. And so we got this cherry in right there. And we'll do the final panorama.